Hi, I'm Stuart Gordon. Welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm talking about Cannibal Holocaust, a movie that got its director arrested for murder. One of the big insults to a director is to say that they can't even get arrested, but the director of Cannibal Holocaust, Ruggiero Diodato, did get arrested, first for obscenity and then for murder. This movie uh, is a uh, the kind of uh, is, is a film that really broke ground. People thought it was a real snuff film and that the actors had actually been murdered in the movie. And Diodato was able to escape prison by bringing the actual actors into the courtroom to show that they were still alive. The uh, story is uh, actually kind of predates the Blair Witch Project. It's, uh, it's about a, a group of people making a documentary in the Amazon who disappear and they find the footage that these guys shot and screen it, and in that footage, we see what happened to them. What makes the, the gave this movie the reputation for being an actual snuff film was that Diodato used real footage of actual executions and so forth in a in a, a documentary, a fake documentary that was the film that the filmmakers in the movie had made before this one, uh, showing uh, actual you know real people being uh, killed in firing squads and so forth, uh, and he also killed real animals in the making of this. Seven animals were killed, uh, a, a cotamundi, a turtle, a snake, a tarantula, a spider monkey, and a pig, all on camera. And uh, actually, the brains of the monkey are eaten by the tribe uh, for real, because originally they were going to fake it. And uh, he discovered that the tribe did actually eat monkey brains and that they were a great delicacy. And they said, we can't let those monkeys' brains go to waste. The um, actor, Carl Gabriel York, when he arrived, he was not given a script. And like uh, the Blair Witch Project, uh, he, the first scene that he did involved them amputating one of the character's legs. And he thought he was really in a snuff film. There was actual rumors that the sex scenes in the film are real. I met uh, Ruggiero Diodato at a festival. And I, at that festival, they were showing Cloverfield and Wreck and uh, Romero's Diary of the Dead, all of which used the fake documentary as a, uh, you know, a way of telling their story. And I said, they should all be paying you a royalty, Mr. Diodato. And he laughed and agreed with me. The um, other thing about this movie that made me think it was real when I first saw it was it's obviously a very low budget affair, but there's a sequence in it in which they come upon a, an impaled girl um, with a, a spike going through her body, coming out of her mouth. And it is so realistic that I couldn't imagine how they could have done this with, with their budget since they didn't have the money to build a full prosthetic a dummy that would look that realistic. And uh, apparently the court in Italy agreed and that was one of the charges against Diodato was that he had actually impaled a woman. He had to bring the, a, a, the device in that he had used in which he shot this, which was a bicycle. The girl was actually sitting on a bicycle seat with a balsa wood piece uh, spike coming out of her mouth that she held in her teeth while she looked upwards, so it created the illusion of impalement so realistically that uh, Diodato almost went to prison for it.